Hello Virgo and welcome back to my channel. I am Mambo Sierra. I am here to do your six month tea leaf reading. This is a general read. Um, it will not resonate with everyone so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if you, if it resonates with you, please leave a comment and let me know and we will get into the reading. So when I was flipping over your teacup, um, water splashed, water and leaves splashed on my knee, which maybe you have something that needs to be, maybe you've been putting off a surgery on your knee. Maybe you have, um, you know, um, been put, maybe there's some sort of area in your leg that needs to be looked at um going to the doctors may be your best bet um and for some maybe that you're just all over the place you can't keep something in your cup something lacks discipline you know and maybe you've been seeing signs and with the uh, um everything is connected you might be seeing signs um through spirit, letting you know that your your maybe your cup is full. That's another thing, and so things are splashing outward because it's full and you can't take on anymore. But you're frequently trying to um, take on and be more than what you can be at that time. You know, so maybe it's time to let some things go. So not much came out on on the plate. So, but when I look at this home, kind of gives me it, it, the first thing that comes to my mind is home. When I look at this, it's like a circle. It's perfect. There's some shallowness to it. Um, maybe you're there, but you're not there. There's something with the home, house, and foundation that maybe needs to be reevaluated, reevaluated, excuse me, and bring back the focus on to what makes a house a home or where home is for you. Maybe that's the thing, finding out what home means to you. And then not necessarily has to be a place, but it could just be a feeling. It could be... Um, some sort of spiritual inside it, home could be and feel like anything so that is what i'm getting with that okay so here it looks like there's some sort of animal creature it's maybe like picking a flower or um blooming maybe they're waiting for something to bloom or grow maybe a business or something like that um wanting to grow something but there's something growing and you're tending to it it looks like somebody's tending to it because there's i feel like this is spirit helping to grow this business or you know some sort of structure something that's going to bring in financial um, gain and this looks like maybe you cultivating it there's like a woman a woman with a wand um, maybe trying to bring this into fruition so this may be you manifesting your dreams wishes maybe doing some spiritual work some spell work um, conjure work whatever it is that you do even if you don't do anything this may just be manifestation you thinking about growth and the growth that you want and desire in life and in you know, putting that energy and effort into it so that it can bloom. Now, why it's not focusing, I don't know. There we go. Okay, so here, where you're making all of this happen, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what, what in between. This is for somebody who's making it happen, and then... When I get over here, there's some chaos. So I don't let me let me look because this right here it reminds me of a um, stethoscope, not a stethoscope. Excuse me, um, a, a micro microscope, looking and dissecting things. Um, so maybe you're really looking into things with a fine tooth comb, 
or under a microscope really being um what's the word like i don't, I don't know detail oriented um yeah that's i guess that's that's a good word for for what i'm trying to say um being more detail oriented in the things that you do really putting that energy in there and here it just seems like whatever you it's just like chaos now i don't get like chaos chaos like Mm, there's like mental chaos because it just seems like this is like one person down here and then there's like this this from their brain where it's like all of this activity is is coming through for some and maybe you need to get a hold on that in order to move to clearer um foundation um yeah that's what one that's one and also i see a tree I see a tree, and this is the base, the roots, and the end. Sorry, that was my dryer. Leroy's kind of loud, but anyway, uh, we'll keep going here. So this is the base, it's the root, and the branches. And this just rings something about legacy and ancestry to me and where it's all leading you. So your ancestors may play a big role in you developing your gifts, your business, whatever it is that you're manifesting your ancestors may play a big role in that with this tree and it and also mean maybe that you're growing maybe you you're getting grandchildren maybe you're getting children there's something being added to the family tree as well for some and and look at the 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 tree in itself we have good good apples bad apples all of it makes up one family and you are here now to make things right. We are connected to the earth and we are connected to, to our ancestry. And I think that goes hand in hand because our ancestry gives us the roots that we need to grow. So you should take that and know that the roots that you need to grow is within your ancestry and it's within your ancestry tree. Maybe some people have been doing the, the DNA test and stuff like that to see how far um, they date back and stuff like that. So that may be something that you're into and doing in order to find out more about your ancestry. Now, not everything is going to be great in your ancestry. Ain't nobody going to be perfect. So you're going to have to take that too and, and heal that energy. Heal that energy from those who weren't so great humans um, that were destructive, nasty, just downright gross people um that energy may be in your ancestry tree but you have to heal that answer heal that energy and elevate it you, you don't have to deal with the person but you should elevate that energy so that things are a little smoother for the next generation um coming along i hope that that resonates with somebody okay wait a minute before i before i get off of here there's a little fish here so it looks like so it looks like there's money to be had with your ancestors or maybe you come into an inheritance because it's right next to the tree so maybe you come into an inheritance of some sort left behind from somebody um maybe it was tied up in legal stuff but it looks like the money will be released and you will have it so that is what i have for you i pray that you find that everything is connected within you and outside of you and that in the acts actions that you take uh, be blessed. Stay safe. Have a good one.